Greetings to everyone. Welcome to the channel Simtech 05. In few upcoming videos, I will discuss about the CFD massing. As we know, Hypermass is versatile pre-processing software, so we can export our massing for many of the solvers, including the CFD solvers like Star CCM, Ansys Fluent, OpenFORM, and so on. In previous video, I also discussed how we can export our massing to Ansys Fluent. It is very easy. Once you mass, you have to make few click and your massing is ready for ANSYS Pro. And similarly, you have to do it for open form also. Yes, massing can be export for open form also, not in any other standard format. Directly, you can export your massing for the open form. So, let me start with, okay, as a CFD engineer, we always have to deal with geometries or some STL file because our CAD designer provide either geometry or STL file. So if you have geometry and then you need to go with CFD tetra mass and you need to define the here elements. Okay, you need to select the element. So to select the element, first you have to mess your component, the 2D element, or we can say with the boundary element. And how we can do this by using the auto mass panel go to the 2d and automass panel here it is so if you want to know more about the automass panel lots of video i already uploaded on my channel you can go through but if you have stl file then you need to deal with stl file let's say i'm going to import the stl file just go with here import and go for import solver deck because stl file Options is available in import solver deck, not in import geometry. So, STL file and select the STL file that you have. So, here manifold STL file I have. Go with the open and let's import it. Yes, the file is imported and we can see very beautiful file we have. Let's say in modeling you have only one component named as manifold first of all i will try to mess this model as it is okay and which messing i'm talking about cfd messing so always you have to go with the 3d options and here cfd tetra mess not the tetra mess tetra mess and cfd tetra mess both are the different thing with a major difference what that major difference is boundary layers i will explain what are boundary layers if you are new user or beginner so uh, just uh, before cfd tetra mess i always recommend to check the connectivity of element and need to check is there any gap or hole in your closed loop of geometry okay this geometry should be a closed loop so how we can do that you have to press shift f3 that is shortcut key for find edges options then you have to select the component or you can select here elements let's say these are element for which i want to check any loop i mean to say open loop just click on find edges it will say no edges were found if there is any open loop likewise let me delete one element f2 and i'm trying i'm going to delete one element from here so it will be very clearly visible to you okay so and one more thing i am changing the color of component because the edges will be in red color so you will not able to differentiate that's why shift f3 select the elements and again click on find edges now software able to find some edges and these edges are representing the open loop okay means mass is not closed from this region so this should not be our case if we have such case like any missing edges geometries then you have to repair it okay so right now let me delete this edges and here i need to create one element okay or simply you can go with the undo option because i deleted this element so f6 and here it is create options try element i want to create let's say first second and this is the third node one more component is created keep it in mind okay see when i go with 
creating one element it was generated in new component because our manifold component was not selected component so to make it select make current now go with the select this three node and your geometry will close so this is the first thing shift tab 3 select the element for which you want to define the cfd tetram as go with the find edge there should not be any edge okay then go with the delete edge if no edge found then no need to delete it because no edge is created that's all so now go with the 3d page and cfd tetram as and here lots of options are available even each sub panel having different different options so no need to worry about all options as a beginner we have to utilize only the few options but once you go with the expert matching then each and every options is very important for you so let's say this is my component for which i want to generate the boundaries okay i mean to say boundary layers so here it is asking for advanced selection and simple selection for sake of simplicity now i am using the simple selection and it is asking with boundary layer options means component or element for which you want to generate the boundary layer you have to select those component or element here so right now i am selecting component let's say this is my component so only one component i have i selected that then boundary layer parameter so five number of layer i want before tetramess start okay and the first layer thickness is around 0.5 and my growth rate is almost 1.2 that's all these three parameters are important right now for you remaining all parameters are important but in the case of advanced cfd tetramessing not for beginners then go with the tetramess parameter here also few parameters only important what type of massing you want either you want to optimize uh, optimize the mass quality or you want to speed up the mass most probably we have to use this option tetramess sorry tetramess normally okay that is the default options from the hypermass then algorithm with the help of that algorithm you want to generate the tetramess there are lots of algorithms at least seven algorithms are available here Again, the standard algorithm is provided from the hypermass itself, and then we have aggressive, then gradual interpolate and denoli, octabase, and user control. So all all options are available. Each and every algorithm having its advantages and disadvantages. We will discuss in upcoming advanced videos. But right now, only standard options I'm using. Then transition ratio, parameter transition ratio. Uh, that I will explain when we have say quad element and with the help of quad element you are trying to generate the tetra then it is not possible directly we have intermediate pyramid element and it is showing the transition ratio of that pyramid element again the 2d parameters are not important for us because we have already 2d massing if you have say instead of element or component you have solids then this 2d parameter options are important for you refinement is again not important for you refinement also comes in advanced option so what options we used boundary selection we selected this component then boundary layer parameter these three options only then tetramess parameter okay these three options are i am going to uncheck these all options also void and fill void and uh, smoothing these all also important options i will tell you step by step just go with the mass options okay see here we have one component now but after the massing we have two more component let's say this is the cfd tetra core mass and this is the boundary layer elements okay go with some standard view let's say this one this is just a graphical error nothing else f5 select half of element go with the hide and now here you can see the beauty make reverse all reverse all see these are the boundary element and these are exactly just guess what type of element we have if you're thinking hexa no they are not hexa because here 
at the boundary at the surface we have tri element okay so if i try to drag this tri element along the depth it will generate a penta element okay likewise but on the boundary or we can say the boundary layers you want to generate with the help of hex mesh then what you have to do you have to make sure this element on the surface should be quad so this is my layer or we can say boundary layer sometime it is also known as inflation layer and the first element thickness is 0.5 almost just go with here f4 options distance between these two node it is almost 0.5 okay then second layer thickness is 0.5 into our growth rate that we define in our boundary layer parameter that growth rate is 1.2 then the second layer thickness equal to 0.5 into 1.2 then again third layer thickness is the value into 1.2 and so on so hope you got the idea of basic simple cfd tetra mesh but there is one problem we have here inlet outlets and for these inlets and outlet we don't want any layering boundary layering here i don't want the boundary layer only on these reasons i want boundary layer so what we can do that i will explain in my next video thank you very much